Hey, what's up YouTube? Lightsaber Samurai here, and I'm back again for another video. And we've broke 100 subscribers, so it is time to do an updated Game Corner Tour. Now, for those of you who have been following my channel, I did the last one about a year or so ago, but since then, my collection has over doubled in size. And of course, I, you know, changed venues. I moved into that house I was talking about, and I'm getting set up downstairs in the basement. Uh, now, in this collect, uh, in this video, we're gonna go over the entire collection uh, on my game on my systems and everything in between so stay tuned let's take a look All right, now moving into the actual game room here. Now it is set up in the basement of my home uh, in one of three rooms uh, spanning eight to 900 square feet. So I have plenty of room to expand this as the collection grows. Like I said, I've doubled this collection in size since my last game room tour. And just giving you a quick overview here. And it's coming along. I've been making a lot of progress. I'm happy with that. And so we'll just go over this one area at a time here and let's take a look at this first shelf. All right, now this first shelf here houses a number of things here. There's my Genesis Flashback HD. Remember here, I've got the remaining three games in my Super Nintendo collection and those are the three Star Wars games that came out for it. Uh, there's Super Empire Strikes Back, uh, Super Return of the Jedi and A New Hope. Alright, and moving up past my NES games and my PS3 box and my TurboGrafx 16, real quick shout out to these two pictures here. And I got them both uh, from my brother as presents here. You've got the Kylo Ren mural there, and then of course Darth Vader here. Really like the Darth Vader. Uh, poster here with episodes one through six behind them and quick shout out to my bench this is primarily what we sit on in the game room and this is a bench from the Krispy Kreme break room and I have taken many a naps on that thing while at work so shout out to that bench there moving over here to the left and on this shelf here next to my meteor man uh, action figure is my shrine to Halo, so you've got the Halo, uh, the Master Chief helmet from Legendary Edition of Halo 3, uh, Master Chief controller, the energy sword there, here is Master Chief and Commander Locke from the Legendary Edition of Halo 5, and those sit above my Xbox 360 collection. Alrighty, and moving down to the actual Xbox 360 collection, uh, got quite a few titles for this, like I said. Uh, though I am a PlayStation fanboy, the 360 was my go-to system for much of the 7th generation. Uh, some of the highlights on the system for me were Fallout 4, or excuse me, Fallout 3, I'm sorry, and Fallout New Vegas. Uh, looking through here, of course, you got Red Dead Redemption. That game is awesome. Uh, moving down here, let's see. Uh, Singularity was awesome. I just covered that. Here is my Modern Warfare 3 controller I found at Pawn Shop for about $5. And moving down here to the bottom shelf here is my Xbox One collection. And this is a system that, in my opinion, gets a lot of unnecessary hate. I'll turn on the light here so we can focus on some of the titles here. I have about 25 games on the collection right now. And let's see here, looking for a shout out. We got a shout out the Rare Replay on Xbox One. Um, as you know, I never owned an, an N64, and that system was so popular mainly because of the efforts by Rare. And with this collection, I mean, it comes with 30 games. Um, let's see, Payday 2, that was a game that, one of the first games I started streaming on my channel. Actually, that was the first game I started streaming on my channel. Uh, look at, of course, played a lot of Fallout 4, a lot of Far Cry 4. Uh, coming to the other side here and yes I have to give a quick shout out to State of Decay and State of Decay 
it is a survival horror zombie game. Uh, Sunset Overdrive, that game is incredibly dope, very wacky, fun open world title. And then of course up here I got this uh, Battlefield 1 promo that I got at clearance at GameStop, comes with a couple of extras. Uh, moving down here is my BB-8 Penny Bank and a Chewbacca book. Alright, and moving over here, and this is the original Xbox collection and have about the same amount of times, about 65 to 70. I love the original Xbox as well. Uh, I had gotten my fix of PlayStation 2, had a lot of games at the time, was looking for something new, and the original Xbox fit the bill primarily because of the Star Wars exclusive games that they had for the system, and those games are cool. Uh, Scarface, the world is yours. Uh, that was a very fun game that I played on the original Xbox. Uh, coming down here... Uh, the Warriors was awesome. This here, Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy. I just picked this up recently. If you saw my last pickups video, uh, I really like the packaging on that collection. Very premium packaging, and uh, I got that at a very cheap price here. Uh, let's see. Okay, talking about those Star Wars exclusives, got to give a shout out to Republic Commando. That game is a first-person tactical shooter. Very badass. Also here, Stubbs the Zombie, A Rebel Without a Pulse. Uh, that is um, it's a very fun uh, action game here. Of course, you got Samurai Shodown 5. I love my fighting games. And this was an exclusive to the system. Samurai Shodown 5 didn't come out on any other system. Uh, Shinmu 2 deserves special mention. Love that game. All right, and that's going to do it for the original Xbox. So... Let's rotate over here. Uh, I do want to show you the chest here in the uh, middle of the room, which serves as my coffee table. And I have decorated it with a bunch of pixel art that I got from my friend Megan. And this is based on Star Wars here. So you got Han Solo uh, on the far left here, Darth Vader. There's the uh, Stormtrooper, Obi-Wan Kenobi, a Snow Trooper or a scout trooper and of course on the far end here you got Chewbacca it's a little crooked here and that's alright and like I said this chest serves as a coffee table uh, but more importantly as you can store things in it and I use this space to store some of my larger peripherals I have two PS3 thrust Thrustmaster racing wheels as well as this Mad Cats racing wheels for my original Xbox Play some Need for Speed Underground 2 on that. A couple GameCube controllers, my uh, Nintendo Zapper, a couple Super Nintendo controllers. And so that keeps all that stuff hidden away and stored uh, nicely without it cluttering the room too much. All right, and shifting over here. Speaking of pixel art, I've got some more here atop of my Atari 2600. And that is from the Space Invaders franchise, which is my favorite game on the 2600. And so Megan hooked that up too. That was very awesome. And so shout out again to her and to that pixel art. Up above it, I've got my Star Wars clock. Got to keep time in the game room. And I do it in style with that clock that I found for about 10 bucks. A couple of Star Wars glasses here. I don't drink, but they sit next to my TurboGrafx-16. Just below it, my Star Wars R2-D2 Edition Xbox 360. And it came with C-3PO controller here, which looks awesome. Although I need to clean it up a little bit. And next to it was this regular controller I found at a pawn shop. And this was part of the Chrome series. This is a silver controller. Uh, it looks like it goes with this system, though. It looks like an R2-D2 controller. So went ahead and picked that up. Uh, there is the awesome Retron 5. Next to it, my Wii next to a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, I don't really play too much anymore, but I pick it up every now and again. Move the space here. It gets a little chilly in the basement, so I'm space here in the way. The mighty GameCube atop of the Dreamcast, my original Nintendo with the Advantage controller. Uh, a couple of handhelds here, the Game Boy Pocket Advance and Advance SP, sitting atop of more pixel art by Megan, and of course my beloved PlayStation 1. Alright, so there's a look at some of my systems. If I adjust here in front of my entertainment center, and this is a 42-inch 
uh, HD TV. I really like it. It has a lot of a lot of hookup options. Has three HDMI ports. Has uh, S video out, uh, RGB and the like. So a lot of options here. And so under my statue, I got a copy of Wii Sports. That statue I got from a Secret Santa in high school. And in this little storage cabinet here, I, I keep a lot of uh, my handheld cartridges here from Game Boy Advance. Actually, let me go back to it here, and I'll show you a couple of titles from it. Shout out to Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. That's probably one of my favorite games on the system right there. Uh, of course, shout out to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. That was one of the first I played on the system. The Golden Sun games, that game, and its sequel, The Lost Age. Super badass. And if I can move my fire red here. Special shout out to Gunstar Super Heroes. This is a sequel to Gunstar Heroes that came out on the Sega Genesis. And in my opinion, this sequel is uh, much better than even that game was. Which that game was awesome. Uh, coming down here, a couple loose... PSP games. There's a Tekken Dark Resurrection. I have that also. Another copy complete in box. Um, also uh, here on the original Game Boy, Ultima Runes of Virtue 2. Uh, that is a game that I played a lot as a kid. Uh, here this one's going up in price, but got mine. Better get yours. And Final Fantasy Legend 2. That game was dope. One of the first RPGs I beat on it. And, you know, quick shout out to Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins down here, past these uh, memory cards here. I've got Donkey Kong Land, and probably my favorite, one of my favorites, uh, this is my favorite Zelda title for sure. This is Zelda Link's Awakening DX, and if I can grab them here, I have two versions of it here. Uh, the gold one is my copy, as a US copy, but I found that European copy there. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, that is my favorite game on the Game Boy Color. That is the Metal Gear experience on a handheld. Here are some of my TurboGrafx-16 games in that stack. And so I keep them in there and keep them all dust-free because they're all loose here. Alright, and moving along, coming down here, a couple more of my systems. There is my Halo Edition Original Xbox. One of my backwards compatible PS3s. That's the 60 gigs. So that's got the PS2 built in it. My NES Mini. Found that at a pawn shop there for about 90 bucks. Had to snatch that. My Wii U. Got a great deal on that. Love the Wii U, actually. That is a fantastic system. Uh, totally underrated. And actually, if I can hop down here, going into some of my Nintendo stuff here. And starting off there, that's just the box that I got from a friend. Uh, I might get that Smash Brothers 3DS someday. And of course my boxed NES or SNES Classic. Uh, here on the Wii U, Shantae, Half Genie Hero, that game is dope. Now, that's a really fun platforming game by Way Forward, And they know their platformers. That one, like I said, I enjoyed that one a lot here. Uh, looking at my Wii U collection. Uh, also shout out to Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, that game I've been playing a lot of that and that's probably that might be my favorite game on the system I don't know it's hard to tell I, I kind of go back and forth between that and uh, Bayonetta 2 and that one is awesome of course I got that with the physical copy of Bayonetta 1 on it uh, over here on the GameCube side you've got a couple of games here it's not very large but Metal Gear Solid the Twin Snakes and you can see I got that at Goodwill 399 so shout out to Goodwill for letting me scoop that up on the low caught him caught him slipping caught him cheap uh, let's see what else here oh gotta shout out this game too haven't played this yet but this is eternal darkness I hear this is one of the heavy hitters and again YouTube or er, excuse me again uh, Goodwill is our friend got that for 399 and coming down here now on this bottom shelf I got PS Vita and PSP uh, down here and a couple of shout outs here so this here uh, Castlevania uh, the Dracula X, uh, Dracula X Chronicles uh, that's an awesome that's got Rondo of Blood that came out originally on the PC engine it's got a uh, remaster version with 3D graphics and you can play the original version it also has its direct sequel which was Castlevania Symphony of the Night both those games are incredibly expensive now, and you've got them both on the PSP there. So that was an awesome, awesome um, bundle there. 
and let's see moving over here to my Vita uh, side of my collection I've got to give a special shout out to Tokyo Xanadu uh, that's one of my favorite games on the system an awesome RPG uh, action RPG by Falcom and here I also have uh, Shantae Have Genie Hero on the Vita you see it's still sealed but that's because I found that version on the Wii U so I've been playing that so I just haven't got around to opening this yet so I uh, don't like sealed games but who knows if that becomes rare and expensive I might just keep it that way um, gotta keep his beat on the top that's a pretty fun game uh, let's see here anything a note actually this one here this is probably still my favorite game on the system Muramasa uh, the Demon Blade, this is actually Muramasa, uh, that's the uh, HD version, and so that was cool that it was an upgraded version from the Wii that came out on that system. And getting back up here, of course I got my PlayStation VR, and enjoy playing that a lot, PlayStation VR is so fun. Up atop it here, I uh, got a uh, PlayStation 1 fight stick, or an arcade pad. And that that's a really cool build, and got that for about ten bucks. So had to had to snatch that up. Okay, coming along on this side, if I can get down here, this is where I keep some of my lightsaber collection. Up up, up at the top, there is my uh, modified Manus. I did a video on that just recently, so look for that on my channel. Uh, awesome saber. There's one of the custom ones I made from the parts and from extra parts as well as this one here. I might do reviews on these in the near future. And then down below is my Prophecy V3. All right, coming over here and gotta take a look at this real fast. This is my, uh, my Saber Staff and it's uh, two, I believe, Aeon V4s. You can hook those together and make a cool Saber Staff and that sits next to my Nintendo Wii collection. I'll turn off that light so we can see the titles here. And the Wii collection, um, it's got a crap ton of shovelware, but if you know uh, where to look, you can find actually quite a few good things here. And so first up, I gotta talk about Tatsunoku vs. Capcom. Uh, this is a beast of a fighting game that was exclusive to the system because they didn't get Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, coming up here, this is a bit of a hidden gem. This is Heavenly Guardian, and this is also on the PlayStation 2. Uh, this is a game, it, it's done by the the uh, same guy who created uh, Pocky and Rocky for Natsume back in the day on the uh, Super Nintendo plays just like that. And so yeah, that's a dope game. Of course you got Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. The last story here, and I just picked this up recently too. If you watch my re my last pickups video, that is a dope action RPG as well. And I think that's gonna do it for that. Let me move along here and to the final kit and caboodle. This is my Sony shelf. Got the PlayStation Aim controller back behind uh, my Steelbook edition of Resident Evil 5. I got a Marvel vs. Capcom 3 up there, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots, and the original collector's, collector's edition of the original Assassin's Creed game. And so those look really nice up atop the shelf here. Moving into my PlayStation 3 collection, and I've got uh, over 100 titles for the PlayStation 3, and I'll take a look at some of them here, 3D.GameHeroes. That's an awesome Zelda clone by Atlas, and I like that a lot more than a lot of Zelda games. And I know it's going to cause some controversy, but hey, you got to play it, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see, you know, Ghostbusters is cool, Dragon's Crown is awesome. Let's see, looking through here, there's so many good ones, so many good ones. That King of Fighters is nice. Uh, of course, Final Fantasy X and X2. Got the limited edition of that, though, you know, the remaster Final Fantasy X, one of my favorite in the series. Got the uh, special edition Batman Arkham City. We're coming down to the second shelf here. And got to give a shout out to some of these games. Odin Sphere was dope. Uh, UFC Undisputed 3, like that one a lot for the pride mode that they added to it. And you come over here to the right side and you're getting into my move collection. And the move is totally underrated, and I've heard people say that it doesn't, 
you know, most controls don't work outside the Wii, and that's not true here. These are the, uh, the uh, gun peripherals that come with it, and so you can play a lot of games like light gun games and get that old school arcade feel as if you're using the, uh, the gun con or the justifier or something to that effect. Um, so look, let's uh, take a look at here some of these games. Uh, like I said, a lot of uh, games, you know, uh, remasters like No More Heroes, Heroes Paradise, that game is probably one of the funnest on the system here. Gotta give a shout out to my favorite game, and that's Sorcery on the PlayStation Move. And that is like a 3D, it plays like a 3D action adventure like Harry Potter, like I mean, you, the way you ring off spells in that. House of the Dead Overkill, the director's cut, or excuse me, the extended cut. This is a beefed up version of the House of the Dead Overkill that came out on the Wii. And it plays better too. Again here, this is my uh, version of No More Heroes, Heroes Paradise. And like I said, it plays awesome with the the, the motion controls with the move. Of course, you can play it with a re regular controller as well. My copy's a bit beat up, but this one is uh, this one doesn't show up too often, so definitely have to, to grab that. And moving down here, so uh, below that, we are getting into my PS2 collection here. Quick shout out to my PSPs here. Uh, this is my ceramic white one with the uh, this is the Darth Vader edition. It's my regular black. PSP 3000 on this side. Uh, both see quite a bit of play from me, and I like playing with both. All right, now getting back to the PlayStation 2 collection, and this is probably my favorite system of all time. And same deal with the uh, PS3. I've got uh, over a hundred titles for the system here, and we'll take a look at them first. Uh, Blood will tell. Uh, this is one of my favorite on the system. And this one's gotten, this one really shot up in price, it's over a hundred bucks now, so if you find that one cheap, definitely get that. Uh, it's totally worth the money, it's a nice long hack and slash game, Marvelous Capcom, or Marvelous SNK2. That game was dope. And let's see what else here, let me turn off this light so these can come out clear. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Tenkaichi 3, I love those games back in the day. Uh, let's see, these here, Eureka 7, Volume 1 and 2, uh, Fatal Fury compilation here, God Hand, this game, that's one of the best beat em up. sitting next to the Guy game, which I enjoy playing a lot, there's my PS2 copy of Heavenly uh, Guardian, and you know, I got the, the Mega Man X game, uh, Mega Man X collection and the Mega Man Anniversary collection, which the PS2 and the GameCube versions did those way better than the new ones you get on Xbox One here. And PS4. Alrighty, here and shifting down. Excuse me while I get down here onto the bottom, well, second to bottom shelf here. And looking at some more PS2 uh, on this. Uh, some of the highlights I got Mr. Mosquito right there, the first title. A very wacky game there. Uh, the Onimusha series uh, was awesome. I've got Onimusha 1, 2, 3, and Dawn of Dreams. Uh, also, shout out to Persona 3 and 4, Rogue Galaxy, another awesome RPG. Uh, Title Legends was awesome, and the uh, Beautiful Joe series also. And on here, on the very bottom at the end of my collection, I'll turn on the light again, and we've got the Warriors, uh, War of the Monsters, and the Xenosaga Trilogy. And those games were dope. Moving into the PlayStation. Uh, side of the collection and shot out right off the bat you got to talk about Bushido Blade 2 one of the best uh, fighting games on the system Castlevania Symphony of the Night I played that religiously and let's see looking at some more titles here again uh, not quite as large uh, here I got to talk about Fear Effect also when Fear Effect first came out it was like Resident Evil 2 meets Ghost in the Shell. It had a really cool cyberpunk aesthetic. There's its sequel, Fear Effect 2 Retro Helix. And like I said, very uh, much a close second as far as my favorite console of all time, the original uh, PlayStation here. And sitting atop here is my PlayStation TV. And that's for my Vita. It allows me to play my Vita games on my HD TV using my PS3 or 4 controller. Works great. Looking down here, I see the Parasite Eve series. 
Uh, gotta give a shout out to Rival Schools. This is also a unique fighting game. Uh, came out back in the day. That one's getting kind of expensive now. Glad I snagged that on the cheap recently. And also Soul Blade. That is a game on the cheap that is probably one of the best on the system. That and Tekken 3, of course. And moving on here towards the end of the system. In the system with, uh, and in the collection with Xeno Gears. Love that game. Uh, going into it right next, if I can move Senran Kagura. I've got a couple of Dreamcast games, a very meager collection of a Blue Stinger on the system. Uh, that's definitely one of my favorites. It's an action uh, horror game. And also, shout out to Power, Power Stone, and that's the Sega All Stars collection. It's supposed to be a very rare variant of that game, but uh, as a fighting game, that game is. Uh, the closest thing you'll get to like Smash Brothers on the system here. And Sunrun Kagura on the PS4. Going into my PS4 collection, uh, that's the uh, collector's edition of that. I've got uh, Oni Chan Bara or One Chan Bara, depending on how you pronounce that. Uh, Near Automata and the like. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, and that's going to do it for this video. Um, you know, we've. A hundred subscribers doesn't seem like a lot, and in fact, it's really not in the grand scheme of things, but to me, that was a huge milestone that I wanted to cross. Thank you so much for everybody who's been uh, watching my videos, uh, you know, liking, you know, commenting down below, uh, sharing the videos, subscribing. It means a lot to me. Uh, 2018, I think, is going to be a really big year for the channel, and I'm getting to a point where I'm able to put a little bit more time in it and I'm definitely getting better at making videos so hopefully the quality will continue to increase as well and as I get more equipment uh, but now that the game room to uh, game corner tour is complete I should say uh, this you know we kind of went through an overview of everything I've got but now that I, I think I want to do collection tour system by system so write it down in the comments what do you think I should do first should I do something PlayStation Xbox one even we we you Nintendo you know what what do you want to see just lay it down in the comments as always I'm lightsaber samurai thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and until next time Hey, what's up YouTube? Thanks again for watching the video. Uh, reaching 100 subscribers was something, uh, a goal that I wasn't sure that I could reach, but I just want to thank everybody who came out and everybody who's getting involved with the channel, uh, liking the video, sharing, subscribing. I'm going to keep trying to add videos as frequently as possible and um, you know, we'll continue to grow the channel. Year two will be even better than before. So thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time.